Hey, what's up? This is Mike from Blood of the Wolf, and today I'm going to give you my top three picks for 2021 Death in Black Metal Albums of the Year. Okay, so starting off this list is Aeon, God Ends Here. What a fantastic death metal album. This has got to be the best death metal album I've heard in a very long time. When this first came out, I listened to this album, like, back to... I listened to it once, and then when it was over, I listened to it again. I couldn't believe how awesome it was. I thought it was great. It reminded me of Legion-era Deicide. Kind of technical, but still easy to follow. Still with song structure. There was also a strong Morbid Angel influence. I would say particularly Covenant, Dominate in Formulas era Morbid Angel. There was also a huge modern Cannibal Corpse influence. I would say like from Bloodthirst and on, there was a big influence there. Um, there was also like some epic like behemoth moments on the new Aeon, but I thought that they really mixed DSI, Morbid Angel, Cannibal Corpse, Behemoth. They blended it up and came up with something that was really awesome, really well written. It's got a clean modern production so if you like modern death metal i would definitely say check out aeon there's only one song i didn't really care for on the album that was called let the torturing begin it was kind of like a sing-along death metal song but i didn't think it really i don't know i thought it was kind of cheesy but but the rest of the songs were so good that i would still give this album a 10 out of 10. That's how good the rest of the material is. So if you have not heard Aeon, God Ends Here, that's my top pick for 2021. Go check it out right now. Number two is Ninkar Sag. Dread March of Solemn Gods. Now this is not death metal, this is black metal. This has a mid-90s to early 2000s melodic black metal uh, style. Reminds me a lot of Dissection. Uh, Dawn, Nagelfar, Lord Belial, a lot of those like Swedish black metal bands. Um, great riffs on this record. Great vocals on this record. Even the lyrics really stood out, which I'm not a big lyrics person, but every time this guy was saying something that I could catch on to, it sounded badass. And I like badass lyrics. I like lyrics that are like mighty and triumphant. So all around a really, really good, uh, like a great album for that specific genre. Now to the dissection thing, I know what you're thinking, like, oh, another dissection clone. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I, th I feel like that's a little um, reductive to call them a dissection clone. There is a strong dissection influence. And that being said, I think it's one of the best. If you're going to call them a dissection clone, I would say they're one of the best dissection clones I've ever heard. So go check them out, too, especially if you like that type of black metal. <laughs> Last and one for it. Funeral Mist, Deaform. This is also a black metal band, uh, but it's not like the Ninkar Sag. This is a lot uglier black metal. This is faster. Um, really, really fast. This is pretty fast. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Funeral Mist, the vocalist from Marduk Mortus, this is his solo project. Um, so if you're familiar with his vocal style, and I, I really, really, Mortus is probably my favorite black metal vocalist. I feel like he he puts a lot of power and passion into his vocal performances. I feel like he's consistent from album to album. I've never heard an album where I was like, yeah, his vocals kind of like shit. Like, no. He always has very strong and very consistent vocals. I think what I really like about Funeral Mist, I like the intensity. I think the riffs are pretty simple and easy to follow. But I also feel like Mortus like builds on his riffs. So 
even though it's kind of simple, there might be like a, like a, a melody that he puts, he layers, and then like, I'm thinking of like the first track on Diaphor, and he like layers these melodies, and makes it really interesting. Um, but it's not really melodic, like I said, it's like ugly black metal. I would definitely recommend, if you're a fan of Marduk, to check out Funeral Mist Diaform. And if you heard the last album by Funeral Mist, which I really, really like, Hecatome, or Hecatomb, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But that was really good too, and I think if you liked if you liked Hecatome, you would not be uh, disappointed in Diaform. So, uh, thanks for listening. I kept it short because I hate long, exhausting uh, end of the year lists. And besides, after I check out the first one or two on your list, if I don't like them, I'm not going to read the rest. So, there you go. Three albums you should definitely check out if you're a death metal fan and a black metal fan. Please leave comments below.